morning students let's start the last lesson of english grammar third quarterly exam syllabus these are two friends bonnie and rena now let's see what bonnie is telling to rena on saturday i'll go boating with my cousins at ambazari lake on sunday my cousins will come to my house will play all day that sounds great have fun so you can see here the verbs will is used along with the verbs and planning is told by using will that means what bonnie will do on saturday and sunday is told here bonnie is describing the actions of the future so we are going to learn today about future tense future tense is used to tell or talk about actions that will happen in future we use shall or will with the base form of the verb to form simple future tense so simple future tense talks about the actions that will happen in future so the construction of the sentences are subject plus either shall or will plus the base form or the v1 form of the verb now let's see certain examples i will eat a cake you will eat a cake they or we will eat a cake here will is added and the base form of the verb is written after will there is no change of the verb okay even when the subjects are plural okay i hope it is clear now let's see how we are going to make the negative form of sentences so in those sentences we will add not after will or shall and then we will write the base form of the verb so the sentence will be subject plus shall or will plus not plus base form so here one either shall or will you need to write okay so let's see i or you so this is the subject will not eat a cake so it make the it made the negative sentence you will not eat a cake we will not eat a cake so this will the negative form now let's see interrogative form now interrogative sentences are those sentences which ask questions so while forming interrogative form in future tense we write will or shall before the subject and then we write the v1 form and then we put the question mark at the end i hope it is clear to you so the sentences will be will i eat a cake or will you eat the cake or shall i eat the cake okay or will she eat cake will he eat cake like this and in the end we add question mark okay now some sentences in future tense are made by using going to with the base form of the verb and here we use either helping verbs is am or are and what we write subject plus going to plus v1 form of the verb so such sentences are used for prediction like oh look it is going to rain okay so we, what we are doing we are adding it it is the subject is is the helping verb and going to so it is predicting that rain will have uh, rain will fall okay so for future intentions or plans also we use the word going to like 
I am just going to change. I will be back in five minutes. Understood? For uh, telling future in place of present continuous, we also use going to. Like, I am going to have dinner with Rebecca tomorrow evening. So here, the intentions of future means the what I am going to have. So I am going to have dinner with Rebecca. Not today, but tomorrow. So it is not happening now or it hasn't happened, but it will happen. So such things are written with the help of going to in future tense. Or after if we also use going to. If you are going to join us, that means for posing a condition. So if you are going to join us, we will wait for you. So there is a condition and there is a affirmation in future. Okay. So we are also using going to. So going to is used with the base form of the verb to describe a future action. Now let's see the book uh, exercises. Complete the passage with the future tense of the verb. Use will plus verbs given. So very easy. Nothing you need to do. You have to write the will and you have to write the verb. Okay, so verbs are given here. You will do like tomorrow we will have to we will have the clean and green program. I will divide you into four groups of ten each. You will do different things. The first group will clean the weeds and the tall grass. The second group will throw all the rubbish into the garbage. The third group will sweep the area. The fourth group will clear up the will clean up the classrooms. And Raghu will supervise the work. And all of you will make the banners. So like this you will do. Okay. So here is will clear the weeds. And here is clean up. Don't be confused. Then let's see question number 2. Fill up the blanks with the future tense of the form of the words given. It is cloudy. I think it will rain today. So bracket. Uh, verb is given. You have to write only well. We have a long vacation. So, go is given. So, what we will write? We will go on a holiday trip. So, this you will do as classwork. Then, let's see question number 3. Complete the sentences using going to plus verb. Nothing you need to do. You have to write going to and then verb. Like, he is going to have a shower. Okay? So, have is already given. You need to add going to. It is going to rain today. I hope it is clear. Question number 4, 5 is your homework.